Many enjoy riding the winds and hot air balloons, the oldest human carrying flight technology. The fact that you get to fly in a high altitude, looking down at the world from a different perspective, is exhilarating to most people. Every year, there are thousands of hot air balloon festivals throughout the world, the largest being in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Thousands come with their families and friends to watch balloons soar at the sky or ride in one themselves. The first manned air balloon was built in 1783 by the Montgolf Fair Brothers in Paris. The Montgolf Fair Brothers used hot air to create buoyancy to cause the balloon to fly up into the sky. Buoyancy is why hot air balloons are able to stay afloat in the sky. And that falls under the area of fluid dynamics and physics. A hot air balloon is made up of three main parts, the envelope, the basket, and a burner. The envelope is a lightweight fabric made of nylon. The fabric then is coated with silicone so it would be resistant to air because heat, moisture, and mechanical wear can easily wear off the effectiveness of the envelope which is needed to fly the balloon. The skirt of the fabric is then coated with special fire resistant material so it wouldn't burn. There is also a parachute vent at the top of the envelope which is used to descend quickly. Most hot air balloons baskets are made of woven wicker and are shaped rectangular. It can carry from 2 to 24 people. Lastly, the burner is what helps the hot air balloon fly in the sky. The burner ignites liquid propane to generate fire to create hot air. The hot air, which is lighter than cold air, then causes the hot air balloon to rise. There are more air particles in the air, which means that it creates greater pressure. And the force of air pressure is determined by the rate of particle collision and the force of the impact. So if no other force is at work in the air, everything is balanced. However, gravity pulls the air particles downwards and the pressure in the air creates an upward force. There is a greater downward gravitational force than upward force, so pressure decreases as you rise in altitude. So this difference in pressure um, creates an upward buoyant force around this. The buoyant force is weak compared to gravity and can only move things that are lighter than the air around it. By filling a hot air balloon with air that is less dense than the surrounding air causes the buoyant force to lift it up. The surrounding air pressure, however, will constrict the balloon until the air density inside is equal to the air density outside. So in order to increase pressure to keep the air pressure relatively the same, you have to increase the number and speed of air particles, and a hot air accomplishes this very easily because the air particles inside the balloon are moving faster and that creates a greater force due to the collisions with the balloon surface. And that is why hot air balloons can rise without being compressed by pressure. There are no specific variations of hot air balloons. Materials of the hot air balloon can vary slightly from one another, but the only variations there truly are is the style of the balloons. People, depending on how they like it, create different shaped balloons. Hot air ballooning though is a hobby to most people. The fact that you cannot steer it the way you want to go can be very uncomfortable. Since you have to ride it the direction the wind blows, hot air ballooning cannot become an efficient way of transportation but only remain as an amusing hobby. Hot air balloons work due to the hot air which is created by igniting liquid propane. The hot air increases the number and the speed of the air particles in the balloon which produces greater force to keep the air pressure the same so the balloon would not be squeezed. The buoyant force lifts up the hot air balloon because it is filled with the air that is less dense than the surrounding air. And these forces of fluid dynamics create many people's all-time favorite hobby, hot air ballooning.